Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I definitely encourage you to hit that subscribe button because I do come out with different EMS videos every single week. Welcome to another episode of Tacky Tuesday. Today we're going to be going over the inferior wall myocardial infarction. So what is an inferior MI? An inferior myocardial infarction is a type of heart attack that typically indicates an occlusion or an issue of the right coronary artery or the left circumflex. This directly affects the blood flow and oxygen delivery to the inferior portion of the heart. Looking at the EKG whenever we're talking about an inferior MI, you're going to look for leads 2, 3, and AVF to have ST elevation. And if you're looking for reciprocal depression, you're going to look in your high lateral leads like lead 1 and AVL. Now typically AVL always has reciprocal depression but in lead one sometimes it's not there and that basically just goes into like which part is occluded. Is it an RCA occlusion or is it having to do with the left circumflex? Um, if there is no ST depression in lead one typically it means that it's an RCA occlusion but not always. So something special about this specific type of STEMI is to move your V4 over to the opposite side on the right side of the chest and you're going to check for ST ST elevation. Just do the 12 lead again, but move that V4 over and look for ST elevation specifically in that lead. And if there is ST elevation, then that typically indicates right-sided involvement. There are multiple causes of myocardial infarctions or heart attacks, and some of them include smoking, hypertension, high cholesterol or hyperlipidemia, whichever you want to call it, diabetes, arterial plaque buildup, advanced age, somebody just being older, obesity, um, drug stimulants, stress, autoimmune diseases, metabolic syndrome, family history, a sedentary lifestyle, and the last one is heart disease. It's an absolute epidemic in the United States of America. So how does a patient present if they're experiencing an inferior MI? Honestly, it really just depends on the patient and their gender because males and females definitely experience heart attacks differently. But you could see chest pain, abdominal pain, back and jaw pain, possibly left shoulder, left arm pain, and those are tail tell signs, but there's also heartburn, nausea and vomiting, a headache, shortness of breath, diaphoresis, dizziness, fatigue. A lot of times with our inferior wall MI patients that have right-sided involvement, you may walk in and see a patient that is pale, cool, diaphoretic, looks like they are feeling 10 out of 10 terrible. But honestly, you just never know because every patient is different in how they experience a heart attack. So as an EMS provider out in the field, there are a few things that we can do to help this patient before we get to the hospital. We can get a 12 lead and obviously confirm that the patient is having a STEMI, move that V4 over, confirm right-sided involvement if it's there. We can get vitals. We can obtain IV access, get a blood draw for the hospital. Depending on what the patient's O2 saturation is, we can apply oxygen. We can give aspirin. Nitro is indicated except in patients that are having inferior MIs with right-sided involvement. Now, as always, follow your protocol on that, but I do know a lot of protocol contraindicates nitro um, whenever you've confirmed right-sided involvement. Also, fentanyl as an analgesic for the patient and fluid resuscitation. So all those treatments are very similar to how you would treat a patient that is simply complaining of chest pain that you believe is of a cardiac origin. But what's really going to separate this from a patient that you have confirmed is having a STEMI is what you relay to the hospital. Let them know what you've discovered, where you're seeing elevation, where you're seeing reciprocal depression, what you've done to treat this patient, and how far out you are from the hospital. That way they can make whatever arrangements they need to make. And also we need to not forget to just treat our patient. So I know it's not listed on here, but if our patient is complaining of nausea, it may be time to give the patient whatever type of anti-emetic you carry. Obviously that's just up to you and the situation. You don't want to get so caught up on what you see on the monitor and forget to actually treat your patient and their complaint. And as with any patient, specifically a patient that is experiencing a heart attack, we want to monitor them really closely and look for any signs of deterioration. We want to be one step ahead of that if we're able to. Anyway guys, that pretty much wraps up the video all about inferior myocardial infarctions. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment box below and I will see you next week. Bye!